This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT, and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. It's quite easy to create a form using the wizard. Basically, you just click and follow the leader. Let's take a look. Here I am in my access database, and I don't have anything open. Actually, let me even collapse the navigation pane and open up my database tools. When I go into the Create ribbon, here are the form options. And I simply want to let the form wizard do the work for me. So I click on Form Wizard, and the first thing I have to do is determine what I want to make my form out of. So it'll list every table, and it will list every query for you so that you can identify exactly what you want. I simply want to make a form based on the customer's table. And then you pull into the right column into the selected fields. You simply put in the order the fields that you want on your form. Now, I don't necessarily need the ID field if it's, a, if it's an auto number field and my users don't need to type it in. Why put something extra on the field that they don't need, excuse me, an extra field on the form that they don't need? But if they need to view information on the form, they certainly would need that customer ID field. So we'll just assume that they need it for now. You could individually move things over. So if I double click company, I double click email address, or if you single click a field and then click this first arrow, it'll place it over to the right. Now, the benefit of doing these one by one is if you want to change the original order of the field, I guess there are benefits because the other one is you just don't want all of the fields. But the double arrows, let me use the double arrows to move all of these selected fields back. I don't really want any of those. So single arrow moves one field at a time, double arrow moves all the fields whichever direction the arrows point. So for now, well, you know what, I'm not sure we want all of these attachments at the bottom, but I think it'll be faster to move everything over and then get rid of the attachments that we don't really want. I don't really want any of these attachments down here. There we go. So the attachments are no longer part of my form. And now I'll go on to next, and when I go on to next, it says, hey, what would you like this to look like? Now my recommendation is to take a minute, one day, and make the exact same form in columnar, tabular, data sheet, and justified. Because I think then you will find the look that you want for whatever you are creating your form for, for whomever. You know, the people, the users are very important. Columnar is the most popular, so I'm going to go ahead and stick with columnar. And then when you choose next, it says, what do you want a table, what do you, excuse me, what do you want a name or what title do you want? Customers form, and I'm going to call this class example. Then I always keep track of what I've actually created in class and what didn't come along with the database. So I can open the form and just look at it from the default, or I can go straight to the design view and I can stop, start modifying the design. No, I just want to open the form and get going. So I'll go ahead and click on finish give it a second to think, and now what happened is my screen has a new form established for me. And as I scroll down, you can see all of the fields that it placed on the form. I didn't choose anything. I didn't choose colors. I didn't select layout. Absolutely nothing. Everything was selected for me because that's what the form wizard does, right? The form wizard makes everything happen for you. So now, if I'm ready to use this form, here it is. I say, all right, I need the next new record, and off I go. Let me collapse my ribbons here and get those out of the way. That helps a little bit. You know, but maybe I don't really like exactly the way it looks, and so on the tab, you can right-click on the tab, and you can say, hey, take me to design view, because in design view, I'd like to look at this just a little more closely, and I'd like to work with it just a little bit more in detail. And so then you can start making your modifications. For instance, I really don't need this much space in the form header. So I'll make it smaller, and it's not letting me make it smaller. Oh, I see why, because this box right here. So first of all, I'd have to modify the size of that box. Let's grab this, drag this down, pull it up a little bit. Whoops, that was a little too small. You see, once you let the wizard do the work, then you can go out and make the changes you want. Let's go back over to form view, and you can see now I've changed just a little bit. But for the most part, 
the wizard did the work for me. The wizard put all of the fields onto the form, and now I can go out and tweak them and make them look exactly like I want them to look. So when you need a fast form, let the wizard do all the work for you. It's time to answer a pop quiz question. Of the following choices, which is the fastest and the easiest way to create a form? A, use the form wizard. B, create the form from scratch. C, double click the name of the table in the object task pane. D, none of the above. A is the best answer. The form wizard is much, much faster than creating a form from scratch. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.